Vsauce, I'm Jake, and I've been playing a lot of the game Super Smash Bros. recently, especially as the character Kirby, who's known for his ability to inhale and ingest things a lot larger than himself. And that got me thinking about our own bodies, how they digest, and how many things we can actually put in them. Which brings up the question, how much can you eat? Our bodies are full of surprises, actions and processes that are always happening even if we aren't entirely conscious of them. For example, the incredible functions of saliva. You know, let's go to the bar. On average, you make two to four pints of saliva a day. If you've ever eaten anything acidic like a pickle, you've probably noticed a lot more saliva enters your mouth. It's trying to dilute the acidity to protect you. Or when you eat bread, it might start to taste a bit sweet. That's the starches being broken down into sugars for your body to use. It also has high statins in it, which increase the healing of wounds. Fun fact, sugar isn't bad for your teeth. It's the metabolites created by bacteria feeding on the sugar in your mouth that are bad. It's weird how you're probably more aware now of the saliva in your mouth than you were before we started to talk about it. Did someone say taco? Hey, Taco Tammy. Hey, Jake. Did you know that not only do you have taste receptors in your mouth, but also in your stomach, voice box, and esophagus? This is true, but thankfully, Tammy, the ones in our mouth are the only ones that talk to our brain. Or did you know that your stomach digests itself? This is also very true, Tammy. The lining replenishes itself every three days. Yep. did you know your stomach is also really good at doing Don't do it, Jake. Don't eat the talking taco. It's just the hunger hormone, ghrelin, being released in your stomach due to the visual stimulation of a giant, delicious taco. Forgive me. Jake, no, no! How our stomachs digest food was a mystery until 1822. Dr. William Beaumont treated a man who had accidentally been shot in the stomach. He survived, but Beaumont wasn't able to close the hole, giving him a window into the digestive process. He would place food through the hole, take out gastric acid for sampling, and even put food and other objects into test tubes with the acid to see how the stomach would digest it. What he discovered is that digestion was more of a chemical process than a mechanical one. You know, all this talk of gastric acid and digestion is making me hungry. Are you hungry? Oh, sorry, I still have salsa on my face. You know what? Come with me. Our stomachs can hold about three to four liters of stuff. If you try and do more than that, your body will tell you to stop. And if you continue, it'll just make you throw up. But can you die from eating too much? Yes. Well, kind of. If you ingest a lot of sodium bicarbonate, the people who did die from their stomachs bursting did so because one, they were incredibly full, and two, they had a lot of baking soda or Alka-Seltzer in their bodies, which mixes with the acid in their stomach, creating gas, and then leads to their stomachs bursting. Imagine baking soda and vinegar in a Ziploc bag. But then there are people like the legendary eater, Charles Domery. In one day, Domery ate 10 pounds of raw beef, four pounds of raw cow udders, two pounds of candles, and three large bottles of beer, a total of 20 pounds. In the 1790s, he was in the Prussian army during the war of the first coalition against the French, but ended up deserting and joining the French military since their food rations were larger. There are also professional eaters like Takeru Kobayashi who ate 18 pounds of cow brains in 15 minutes. Now that might seem like a weird thing to eat, but people have eaten weirder. Pika is a disorder where you crave and eat non-food items, like dirt, or metal, and even chalk. Michael Lotito was famous for eating things that you generally shouldn't, like a 15-pound bicycle, a coffin, or over the course of two years, an airplane. But luckily, he was only eating planes and not people. Kuru is a very rare disease that attacks the nervous system, and one that you can generally only get from eating human brain tissue. It came about in the tribal regions of Papua New Guinea where people would cannibalize their dead relatives during funeral rites. So don't eat human brains or just don't eat humans. Remember Charles Domery? He tried eating the severed leg of a shipmate who had it blown off during a sea battle. Because hunger makes you do crazy things. 
but our bodies protect us. They keep us from eating so much that we explode, and in general, they keep us from putting harmful things in them. So we might not be able to swallow as much as Kirby, but Kirby has another characteristic. Whatever he inhales, he gains the attributes of their traits. And that's kind of what we do with our own food. We absorb the nutrients of what we eat, those things that keep us moving, that keep our brains functioning, our stomachs digesting, and our saliva flowing. All these little pieces that make us work. So in a way, you really are what you eat, especially if you eat people. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye.